Welcome to the show, everybody. I'm Keith Shannon. I'll be your host for the next eight minutes and 42 seconds. Today, we're going to do a U-shaped landing on this beautiful staircase. This was a fabulous job. If you're thinking about doing something like this for your own house or you just want to sit back and learn. So I'm going to walk you through the process of uh, how I did it. Here we are just walking through the, uh, the finished job. So there's about uh, maybe 10 stairs up, then it turns to the U, and then it has 4.5 stairs up. We're gonna show you how to do all of this in about eight minutes. We're gonna talk about the kind of carpet. We're gonna talk about the methods, um, all that kind of great stuff. And if you stick around to the end of the video, we're going to show you uh, how to do that finished part right there. So stick around to the end and I'm gonna walk you through how to make that uh, look good like a pro. Here we are at the shop. Today we are using um, Dreamscape uh, Anderson Tough Tech. So the color is Pelican. It's like a cool light blue gray. Here is a rough estimate of my um, my templates that I, uh, I went and pre-measured. We're gonna show you later on in the week how we actually measured that. So if you uh, come back to the channel, we'll have a video on how to measure for the U-shaped uh, landing. Here we are starting at the bottom. This is a 28 inch wide runner. We've got the, the bottom sewn and we're just gonna pop a staple in, let's say every four inches and then we're gonna rub those staple marks out. And that's how we start our project. We've got our tabs on the end from the binding. We're going to fold that in and we're going to do a little staple behind that. Like such. Now I've already pre-measured my sides. It's about four and a half, four and a quarter from, from banister to banister. The way that we had to set this up in the middle all the way up. There you can see I'm feeling for any staples. I've got that on a 45 underneath. Now we're going to stretch this in three staples on the outside between the binding and the carpet. Stretch it on the uh, right side, same thing. I'm gonna rub those out and now we're going to uh, score that to get that perfect line. This is a great way so you guys can see how it's done and how it's supposed to look. This is a method I've perfected over time. There is no smooth edge on these stairs. I have brought the pad as far out into the corner so I can get that nice edge. Now we're just folding, preforming under the nose, 45. Here's a side view, stretch in the middle, get those three staples on the outside, rub those staple marks out. One, two, there we go, three, rub it out, same on the other side. Now remember, you can see the tape measure in the picture there. I'm measuring as I go every stair to keep that on track at four and a quarter, four and a half. You guys can put masking tape along there if you want to uh, do it for yourself. Now we do have this carpet uh, ready to go in this uh, uh, 28 inch runner on our website at directcarpet.com. If you're looking for something like that, uh, here we go again, underneath the nose. This is a very, every stair is the same. I don't uh, go away from methodology. It's like, that's a 45 on the underneath. I like two staples on the outside on each end, and then maybe every inch and a half along the way. Whatever I feel that that carpet needs to, I'll put more staples if I need to, to get that kind of nice undercarriage, that, you know, that 45 degree angle. So when you're standing at the bottom of the stairs, it looks crisp and perfect. See that? I score that with my tucker bang that with my tucker, staple that, and then I bang it again. And that's how you see we get those nice straight lines. And here we are again, nothing changes. We're going under the nose on a 45 all the way along. So here we are, we're up to our U-shaped landing. Now you guys can see from that picture there, I've already measured, I've already cut this up, I've already sewn this up, and we will do this for you. You guys can order this custom from our website. So we're setting it up. Obviously, I'm gonna start at the bottom there. I have to match it with the runner I just brought up and then I have to make sure that I measure all the way around so that's even. So I will take a little bit of time there and I will make sure that that is perfect. Now you can see I'm gonna work it around the banister here, kicking and stretching and making sure that I am perfect. Now I had marked this floor with a pencil about a quarter inch underneath where the carpet is. So I knew where I was 
had to put it and I could uh, keep an eye on it as I went. Now I will put uh, staples all around that U. Uh, you can see that little U where I'm working. It's around the banister and, and around the uh, outer perimeter. I will put a staple every inch because um, it just needs it. It really does. That's why make sure that it is centered properly before you start throwing a bunch of staples in, uh, in someone's hardwood or your own hardwood. So you can see how I twisted that with the kicker. I just tweaked it because I'm trying to follow my lines and make sure that I'm on course. I'll pop a staple into that corner to lock it in and make sure I'm happy with this because I now I have to match my carpet going up the stairs. Right, obviously I'm happy with it. You can see that from this point of view that that is perfectly straight. Now, not all houses are going to be straight, so don't worry about it. Not all houses are built equal. That just happened to work out very, very well. I've had lots of um, jobs where the walls are not straight and you are just going to have to make it work. So there we go. That uh, runner is done. And uh, we are setting up for the last 4.5 stairs. We're on the home stretch here. Now, like I said, we're going to show you how to finish the top stairs. So stick around for a few more minutes. So I'm just going up, measuring, keeping the, uh, the same, you know, undercarriage 45, stretching in the middle, three staples on the outside. Now to uh, the last piece. Now I cut that off purposely so I could do the riser separately. I'm measuring there, it's five and a half inches on each side. Then I will mark with a pencil on the back of my finished riser carpet piece. Now you can see where I'm measuring from, that edge is sewn. And that is the kicker, right? That's what makes it look really nice, a really great finish. So what I'm doing is I'm just marking at five and a half, five and a half with my pencil all the way along. Obviously you should use a straight edge. I've uh, been doing this for a while, so I know what I'm doing. I would like to see you guys use a straight edge on this so it's perfectly straight. And then we're gonna take a great pair of scissors and we're gonna cut this out. The secret to a great riser and a great finish is to kick that out on the end, a quarter inch. You can see that little angle. Now we're gonna go through it with the scissors and follow the line and then you guys are gonna see where I cut this out on a quarter inch angle for the binding to meet the binding on the bottom stair. Watch, here we go, kick. See it? That's that secret. Then that flows into the binding beautifully. Okay, we're just trimming it because I'd rather see you guys have a little bit extra and then trim down so it's perfect because when we ship this to you, we ship you with one finished edge. So please don't ruin it or you have to order another one from us. So we line that up, popped a couple staples in, we'll rub those staple marks out, maybe one every three inches. I don't like too many staples at the top because it is kind of a focal point. Flip that little tab in, fold that in, get a staple locked into that. And this is how you finish the top stair to make it look professional. I mean, it looks awesome, it looks amazing. And uh, like I said, guys, there'll be uh, a video explaining how to measure this. There'll be an explainer video later this week. So uh, just check the channel when that comes. I want to thank you for watching. Please subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, the website's directcarpet.com.